You guys, uh, there's still a large number of investigators here. As you said, roads are still blocked off. Foxtrot is still circling around. We understand that Commissioner Davis and Mayor Pugh actually just left the scene here. According to Commissioner Davis, investigators are still here to make sure that they've collected every bit of evidence. They're looking for clues and making sure that the shooter is nowhere nearby. He said it's going to be a very long night for investigators here. We've seen armored vehicles, dozens of SWAT team members in tactical gear. The the commissioner said the detective was on Bennett Place investigating a recent homicide before this all happened. He said that he observed suspicious behavior and engaged in conversation with that person before he was shot. We spoke with neighbors who live on Bennett Place, not too far from where the shooting took place, who heard those gunshots. It was four, at least four, clack, 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 clack. And that was it. Then you saw people running down that way. But yeah, they were pretty loud for, you know, for here, especially for being on Bennett Place. And rapid succession. Oh yeah, yeah, four quick shots. You know, four quick shots. The scanner says they were chasing somebody and next thing you hear, you know, four shots. You start shooting police, that means you'll shoot anybody. You don't have no, no uh, regard for human life. These people are supposed to be out here protecting life. And then you're gonna shoot one of them, you done lost your mind. And so the commissioner described the suspect as an adult African-American male with black jacket with a white stripe on that jacket. Investigators are offering a $64,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest and conviction. I just want to mention, I just uh, was chatting with some police officers here on the corner, and they said that they have a, uh, you know, a truck full of food and beverages. So just another indication of just how long they plan on being here tonight. Reporting live in West Baltimore, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.